This is a Seiko Corona Melodia. I don't think that name aged quite so well. Though nonetheless, Seiko Corona Melodias are alarm clocks. Typically you find them in a more radio looking style, but I found this one in a more festive style. It's a crimson case with waffle looking imprints in the plastic. Very interesting design choice on Seiko's part. There I'm trying to show that it was made in Japan. It uses a two jewel Seiko shell movement and it has a very interesting second counter there. This was a clock made probably in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, probably that area. And what's interesting is the case is just made completely out of plastic, so it's very lightweight. The movement's pretty high quality, but the case makes it seem kind of cheap. Here I'm showing how you regulate it. You open that up, and you got a little bar in there that you push up and down to regulate it. The seller said it was running kind of fast, and that's because that bar was pushed all the way up to the top. So I fixed that when I got it. And as you can see, here's the winder for the time. And this is the winder for the alarm. However, it's not your typical alarm. These Seiko alarm clocks are actually unique in the fact that they play music boxes instead of a bell for the alarm. This one plays Swan Lake. Note the three notches on the knob. The blue one is the on-demand feature. Red, or the middle option, is off, completely off, and the green is so that you can play it as the alarm. Here I'm going to demonstrate now. I'm going to take the alarm hand all the way around to 12, and you'll note that it starts playing once I reach 12. This uses a Seiko Sha movement, Seiko Sha of Japan, and there's a strange marking there that goes OM, O M H H. Pin palette lever escapement, and there's two jewels in here somewhere, probably under that balance wheel. And here is the music box, it is a Sankyo. Here's how the knob works. Now here's when I set it to the alarm function. Now I'm going to do my best to take the alarm hand around the dial. That little strip of metal blocking the fly of the music box is going to be let down once it hits the correct position. And then once the time passes the selected hour, that little strip of metal there goes back up and it blocks the fly. And then when you set it back to neutral, that piece of metal there that's now in front of the fly beyond the first strip of metal is what blocks the fly.